Welcome back to the Den of Snoring Thieves. Or just the den, for short. Um, okay, I know people come in and, in and out of this room, and I don't know when. And I'm cautious about heading out the door to the left without a little more knowledge about where these people are. Like, I suppose I could sit here. Oh, did he wake up? Nothing. I'm too tense. Did you just wake up just now? <coughs> Hang on. So, I mean, not, not to save scum, but... Yeah, he did just wake up just now. Okay. And note yourself, they don't hear lockpicking, but they do hear you taking Sorry. half a step, half a bit too hard. All the more reason then to wait and watch for the others to come and go, because I can't run on the word. That's, you know, crouch run, even, not just stand up full, full pelt running. Thought I saw something on the uh, wardrobe there, it's just a green bottle. I should go. I'll probably get caught if I do, right? And this is a dead end, but it doesn't stop people patrolling in and out, right? They've got very long patrol routes, so sitting and watching and waiting is unproductive. Oh, flash bomb and a repair. Well, that is nice. Nothing. Another banner. Well, I have priorities other than banners right now. Okay, well, let's try... Going out here, because this is a dark corner, right? So I can hear people coming at least. Okay, better. I wanted to go to the east, but uh Really didn't seem like a safe place to go. Seems to be anywhere to hole up. Not that that main corridor seems any safer. Okay, bathroom. Do people come in here? I mean, probably, right? Who knows? Three water arrows. Ah, this is toilet. Okay, it's not another exit. Suppose if somebody does come in the bathroom, this is where I would hide. And that's a noisy floor for sure. Lots of lots of footsteps out here.
difficulty is not knowing if anyone comes in here, and the fact that their patrol paths are randomized means people are not predictable. Which is fine, I guess, but it does mean it's definitely... Slower and less easy than it might otherwise be. Okay, somebody went into this room. Over there. He's coming this way. Not in here, though. Someone actually going here? No, it was a different door I heard. Okay. Anything hiding down around the bed? Can I stop the candle? No, but I can read this. Billy! Damn how restless I feel in here. Le Guin, you keeps laughing at me in my fears. But he has not seen what I have seen, nor heard what I have heard. I can see my comrades are as anxious as I am, but they keep silent. We don't speak about our fears in here. It is some sort of untold rule. When I find the nerve to speak of them, I end up booed and chased away like an old dog. But I have seen it. I've seen one of those horrible statues blink its eye at me. Weird enough, Stephen was there with me, but he did not flinch. Was he pretending not to have seen it? Am I the only one? Or am I going crazy? Oh my god, I'm so scared. After dealing with the Corrigans, is this nightmare going on in the form of a haunted fortress? And those noises, as if the walls spoke, spooked me. And what do these walls say? They tell me bits of a strange story. A story of a huge, fixed consciousness whose only dream is to live, breathe, feel, and move. I'm afraid I don't understand much of it, but I can feel something horrible coming along. I need to know if it is only me and my man that saw something else that keeps me awake all night long. I have to know what has me swinging on the edge of this horrible void. And I'm quite sure I'm not the only one to see and hear what hides in the stones of this building. And that heart beating sometimes in my ears. Is it mine? Or the houses? May the builder, if he really exists, give me the strength to resist until the end. Your friend, Vinny. Statue that blinks its eye. Okay, that may be a note. That may be worth noting. It's a statue. Doing something funky. Someone there? Just the wind. Oh, this highway. Okay. Oh. I didn't actually want to come back here, but I couldn't see what was happening out there very well. And that door, feel, this door is more recessed, so it feels safer to sit in. Alright, let's, oh, I was going to say, let's go for it. Yes, let's go for it. Good. It's not a safe place. Might be safe enough. Are you the statue that blinks its eye? It doesn't look like it. Definitely haunted. The door closed itself. Meeting room. Okay. Ah, so this is the place with the wall safe. Can I switch the light off? No. Map. Fortress map. Alright. Beautiful, beautiful, be Wow, they've made a very, very big map of this place. Okay. Right. Um. So, the dormitory is... Right, that's the generator room. I haven't been... I have been in the dormitory. Try that again. Yeah. Come on. Align it nicer. Okay, I've been in the southwest southwest tower. 
So that was the armory, but... But was it a tower? Was there a way up that I didn't see? Um, there's a window here. Wow, this place is enormous. Now I'm in the meeting room, now I'm here. Okay. So, what about the side rooms that went on? Yeah. So that's the bathroom, right? Mm. No, that doesn't match up, does it? Yeah, okay, so there's doors here. Right, uh, I don't know how to, how, how do I draw double doors in? That looks like double doors. That's the WC, this was a bedroom. I mean, it's not, it's not an exact map, that's fine. We've been in both of those, okay. So this is my fortress. Right, okay, we've got tons and tons and tons to explore. What's the big X? Huh. All right. Okay, the safe, we're gonna need the key from Veronese. So let's make a note here, that's the safe. We need the key. Another rope arrow, lots of stuff. Meeting notes that are too boring even to try and read. City map. Alright, now I've got a map, I can see west, that's the main door, so if I just head down there, but if I head down that corridor, we get to another little room. Okay, oh. I would say there's a passage behind there. Wouldn't you? How would one open it? Who's noising about then? Just me trying to see where you're going. So it comes through here, okay. It just take a little too long to turn and make me think they're walking into me, but no. Okay, good to know this room is not safe. Statue blinking its eyes, so maybe there's a statue near here that opens it? Or maybe I can only open that one from the inside. However, let's make a note this is on the southern side of this room. Not marked. Just a closet. That's a very suspicious bookcase. Let me tell you. A switch on top of it, though. Hmm. 
Oh, okay, and that is going north. How do things look out the front door? Is this let you use a blink? Shh. See if it happens again. I mean, they're creepy statues, alright? Uh, did I. Are they coming to search? Or are they just making noise? I mean, if they're noticing that door opening, it's probably not safe for me to go out that way. Let's keep these open, shall we? I'm not sure statues, but oh, they don't stay open. Great. I know people come through here, that's the problem. I mean, these statues don't look like they actually have eyes, they look like they've got skulls. My eyes must be playing tricks on me. Oh yeah, this guy there, watching the door. Okay, here comes one of these people. Two of these people. Alright, well, I... If there's a switch in here, I don't know how to find it. Be super well hidden. Same in that room. And honestly, if these people are on the move, it's an opportunity for me. They're not much of one. in the north then uh, the restroom it's not the same as restroom as one word it's a different restroom and this room is not marked but it does go through so people might traverse it Coming down the hallway now, not time to run out. Okay, so he went that way. Does he go through this side room? Or does he go around it? He's coming in a door. No, he's going around as well, I think. No, that's not that's her again. Okay. Ah. Where are these people walking then? Are they 
If I'm leaning out looking down the hallway, which way am I looking out? It's not just looking out this way, but... No, I'm looking south. Down this way. So they're going around here, I guess. I just want to know if anyone comes in this room. I mean, so far it doesn't seem like it. There's a nice chest in the restroom, that might be nice to steal what's the contents of. And what have we got on the eastern side there? That's the, that must be the door to the dining room. No. There's a door here, it's not marked. These people make terrible maps these thieves, do I'm going to complain. Before I kill you last end, I'm going to complain about the maps that your men make. And men and women. Okay. Ah, so that's an opening the door as they walk past just because they come too close to it kind of situation. Rather than opening the door to go through it. At least I hope so. Vivian's letter. Dear Roger, we arrived at the new den a few weeks ago. You should have seen this place when we arrived. Ah, what a wreck. Everything was dirty and abandoned. Master set up teams to put the place in order and it is quite habitable now. We have even installed electricity. It is always cold though, no matter how many longs we burn in the fireplaces. Humidity and cold pierce through our bones. This fortress must have been a wonderful place in the old times. There are even some beautiful hangings in the walls representing the five senses, which seem to date back to the beginnings of this place. I don't understand their meaning very well, but they add some decoration to these old walls. Ernest, the butler, has promised that if I do a good job, he will eventually allow me to serve in the upper floor where the master's quarters are. I am dreaming of that moment. To serve the master of thieves, a man like Lassen. Believe me, if it ever happens, I will give him no cause to complain. They say he is good to those who serve him well. I don't like his sister, though, always giving orders as if he were nothing but a piece of dirt. Thankfully, I don't see her office she, often. She's always gambling in the generator shed, carrying out weird experiments in her laboratory. The other day, while I was cleaning the first floor, I found a beautiful red stone. It was hidden under one of the large statues. There was a name engraved on it. Taste. I wonder what it was doing there. When I showed it to Laguinia, he took it from me. I've said nothing about it. I like Laguinia a lot. If he asked me to marry him, I would not say no. But he only has eyes for Berenice. Our son has ordered condemned a wing of the house. Now we no longer have access to the little chapel or the garden. It is a shame. I like to wander there among the little flowers and pray to the builder in the little shrine. Many wonder about the reason behind the master's decision. Some people say he's hiding something. But then again, men are bored around here and they give great importance to the slightest event. Oh yes, I almost forgot. The men have finally caught the infamous Garrett. They had a party last night in the large dining room to celebrate and most of them are still drunk. Alas, I will have to clean after them. Ah, the job was nicer when I served Sir Bilberman. I have to leave you now, my dear Roger. I look forward to your reply. Vivian. Stones, right. Laguinia has the taste stone. Uh, I don't know where he lives, but... Um... And what was the other one? The chapel and the garden are condemned. Okay, forbidden area. Right, I see the map doesn't even show any way in. Well, that's useful information. I'll hang up. Let's see if there's anything else. Oh, the, the hangings, the five senses. Okay. What we do know, we saw the hearing one, right? Hearing is up here. So let's let's label that in uppercase because it's important. In the southwest tower. Well, try not to make it over, overlap the other. I guess I don't. I guess I don't need to mark the dormitory crossed off like that. Uh, particularly. Okay, so we are here. 
Anything else is to note? It's always cold because it's haunted, blah blah. She's always gambling the generator or carrying out experiments in her laboratory. Okay, Bernie says if she's not in the gambling shed, she'll be in the laboratory. Uh, yeah, okay. Don't think there's any other information on you than that, so... So let's see, if I go up that way, it get, takes me to the, through the restroom to the stairs. The dining room and kitchen is on its own. It might be worth exploring. Can I get there safely? I don't know, I can't see well, and people would definitely walk into this hallway. Like that. Look, there's a passage there, right? It's this passage I can't see. So anyone in there who can look down there is a threat as well. I mean, I'm going to try it. Are you so slow? Who's making that noise? Madame the thief. Uh, I need a nap. I won't be so spooked then. You might be more spooked given the creepy noises in this place. Right, that's somebody going in and out of the, out of the kitchen, it sounds like. Hello. Mm-hmm. This is the dining room. I do think I want that cup. So we go slowly and quietly. You shouldn't be here. You think you're special? Oh God, it's so noisy and it's gonna be so slow when people coming and going. It's not a happy thought. Okay, there is some carpet. A window. Just wondering if I use one of these or not. I'm gonna sit and wait just a bit longer. There's food in the kitchen. I mean, I don't really need to be here, but could I get by? No, this is not high enough to hide me from them. Just creeping by the uh, bench and avoiding the path. Right, they do come in this door. Uh, gonna get used to working That's what I was afraid of. Are running from women it's all the way into the kitchen. Still. And the other guy came in here too, so I'm not sure. Well, he might be on his patrol route, but I'm going to take a risk now. Well, actually, maybe not. I heard some footsteps. Okay, he goes in. It comes. He comes in. That? Oh, now I'm going to take a risk. Look, think that was there. anything? God, you guys, your peripheral vision. Hmm. You'd think I'd be used to rat noises by now. <coughs> ah, it's a dumb way to. What's waiter. going on? Quiet now. It's a dumb way to not. Gonna get used to working side by side with women. Or it doesn't seem to have controls down here, does it? These days. So Interesting. How do you send the food up? I guess maybe they yell. When the people upstairs send the food up. Alright, we've got this guy who might come in at any moment and walk, walk, waltz into the kitchen, and I'm thinking it's so slow getting here. I don't want to. Uh, Start creeping out just for him to see me, but at least the kitchen has some. You know what? The kitchen has some wooden floors. Oh, 
A sh oh, that's the east window we saw. No, that's the south window. Uh, but that is the window we saw, right? Because we came in the here and crept out the gateway here. For some reason I thought, oh, it was east. It was to the east. Okay, so she's looking out the window and the guard's looking in. So I need to be careful inside of that window. I see I could have probably crept in that window to get in here. pretty well, ma'am. this what is we got here okay a passageway that comes out west of the kitchen that's uh without a sword i mean i could buy an arrow but that's not really a good option is it Last son has my soul and he's upstairs hanging out in his apartments. Is the east window that's why I wanted to come out east. That window comes out behind the fence. But it does not look like it gets me anywhere. Oh he does come in here sometimes, okay. Yeah, God, be careful about leaning out windows, you know. saying you silly man you silly man that's what it sounds like you silly man Larsen. trying to amuse myself by lining up the checkers on the table and on the floor but they're not quite working close okay hello nothing this time so if only I had my sword, or we would be willing to fire off an explosive fire arrow. Okay. <laughs> now, the thing is... Oh, it's stuck there. It's not good, no use to me then. Hey. Nothing, nothing, nothing. No, it was just That's nothing. I was thinking maybe I could rope my way up to the next floor, but uh, it seems to be sitting at the next floor, not the one above. 
Alright, I'm not going to move, make a move just yet, because that other guard, the other thief is going to come in in any second now. Ah. My copy is dangerously low. Ah, look at that. Stereo. I guess that means it's the best possible time for me to leave when they go out. Good news. So where am I going? I guess I want to go to the restroom. This room seems relatively safe. Um... Was there anywhere to hide in here? I don't remember. There was this room here to hide in. Tapestries it does have a label behind below it, I think. Yeah, just barely visible. Hmm. I don't want her to see me. Well, I guess we get, pa get patient. Be patient, that's the word. Get patient. Get patient or get punished. I like the uh, labyrinth on these floor tiles. It's like one from a cathedral, isn't it? The smell. Like how it's just the smell. This is the stink room. It's always nothing. It's never anything exciting. Where's he going? So he's coming in here. Is he the one that goes into the kitchen? Or is he coming in here? I would be willing to bet he's coming in here. Right, so he runs up to the stairs there, okay. <coughs> Not almost. that window look out onto the hallway <sighs> now I can hear the other guy coming already Does it see the statue with the blinky eye It's a crooked banner there. What does that look onto? Mm -hmm. 
Vinny, you don't look well. What are you planning to do? Solve the mysteries of this fortress? A word of advice, my friend. Forget about it. I know it's tough having nightmares all the time, but you've got to listen to me. Don't even think of telling Larsen about your fears. It will only upset him, and you know what he's like when he's upset. Right now, he's busy looking for that stone. He's been down in the fortress foundations for some time now. Now is not the time to make Larsen mad. You could end up like that guy, Garrett. And don't go talking to Laguinia either. He's not very nice, and he's always flirting with that skank Bernice. I don't know what he sees in her. Maybe it's because she's Larsen's sister? She's always insulting folks, and those strange laboratory experiments she does just give me, gives me the shivers. She is kind of pretty, though. I'd probably do it with her if she asked. <laughs> I like you, Vinny, and you're my friend, but I swear sometimes you'd be better off with the hammerites. You could tell them all your ghost stories, and maybe they would think you were talking to the builder or something. I'm only joking, Vinny. Don't you go prancing around here dressed in red, carrying a hammer and chatting tenants all day. But if you have, an have another nightmare, come and see me. Your friend, Ely Billy. Billy with the eels. Broadheads, okay. Something on the window here. Affer. Another banner I would like to drop down, but... Swordless beggars can't be slashers. That's the saying, that's the saying as it's always gone. That's how the saying has always been, as everybody knows. I think that was the, the female thief just walking through and this guy at the same time, which is nice. Board for complaints and other comments. I found one of those noblemen from the first floor in our reserved toilets. That did it. I've gently caught him by the ear and made him understand he had made a terrible mistake. Do not hesitate to scold them if it ever happens again. I still have his ear. Who wants the ear of a nobleman? When dried, it has magical powers. I will explain for the ignorant. It is like the Hand of Glory, the one that lets you see in the dark without being seen. Yes, I am pretty sure I have tried it myself. So who wants my authentic noble skin ear? It is not expensive. Step in. I have found a beautiful polished red stone. It is for sale. Who wants it, Laguinia? Damn it, Laguinia, I've been looking for you for two days. You have big de debts, my friend, and you can put your stone where you like as long as this is a dark part of your body. But... A call to your good hearts. Science needs you. We're looking for guinea pigs for experimental researchers on the human body. They won't hurt, I guarantee. Please help with the research to make the human body invulnerable to poison and other deadly substances. To write in, please put your name down here. A cross will do it for those who cannot write. Bernice. Well, I'm in it, if it doesn't hurt. Lulu. Me, I'm in it. Laguinia. Great, Lulu and Laguinia. Science and I thank you warmly. Meeting tomorrow evening in my laboratory. Any more volunteers? Bernice. Quiet now. Aha, uh -huh. so is Laguinia up here? Does not seem... Hmm, that sounded funny. Does not seem to... <laughs> I'm getting too jumpy. Ah, uh, B... what's the word? Probable. Okay, so I've got two choices. I could go and I mean, the Laguini head would have the taste stone, right? So we don't, we don't know where the taste tapestry is. So there's not much point going here just yet. We do need to find Berenice for the key, which probably means coming back out this window. I think I'm going to go check out the stairs for now. Seems like the best place to make progress. Although if I do if I do these, then we're done here except for the chapel and garden, right? I am just here. It's not hard to get down this corridor. I guess there's probably somewhere to hide in this little alcove, and I haven't actually been there. Maybe there's some loot there as well. Let's try it. Let's go out behind this guard as they come by. Hmm. Is it 
Yes, loot. And I have been here. I came through here without noticing. I'm noticing the loot. Oh, there's the banner, yes. Two people coming this way, right? Indeed. Okay. Uh, so that's the dormitory there. Let's go for it. You. you do more damage to your hand than most people do with a sword. What the hell? Also, I didn't realize you were just right out there because I couldn't hear. Couldn't hear you. Yeah, you're almost silent. Unlike these guys. I cannot hear you over the storms. Pretty dangerous, okay. <laughs> yep, she's there. With the key on her belt, I think. Hmm, and money. Well, can I climb this? No. So how am I going to deal with this room? They've got electric light. This is the generator room, right? I can't turn the generators off. Don't have, like, gas or anything. Doesn't really look dark enough to get by on the inside without being seen. I could try it, but... Do not disturb, it says, and I can't even open the door. Ah, huh, so how's that going to work out? How am I going to know? I'm going to get that money. How am I going to get that key? I don't know. All right. Fine. Is there anybody else that patrols out here? Oops, there's other people that sit and watch. Is that the creepy blinky eye statue? It's a booby statue. They're gonna see me, aren't they? Maybe they mean these creepy statues. Can't tell from here. Oh wow, that's a ton of people all at once. I guess they were. I guess they've gone into efficiency mode. There's supposed to be a lot more people patrolling the gardens than I'd realised. Bad news for me. What's that on the floor? Oh, I don't know. Ah, oh, just the corner of the uh, metal plate. Okay. Noisy. Alright, I can get upstairs that way. So is this a whole basement? No, it's just a, a rat pit with some coins. A lot of rats down here. Hey guys. Carrot. Okay. Wasn't me making a noise, it's just Fatal mantling. Oh, well, they won't get me in here. 
Oops, look, it's just rats. Squeak, squeak. Come to Papa now. Squeak, squeak. Squeakity. Come out and face me, villain. You can't hide forever. All my rat friends are laughing at you. Oh, that's an open window with a beam above it. That's that's very nice. Oh, and a moss arrow I missed. Cool. God, that gravel is so noisy. Mm -hmm. Simply just the mantle betraying me. What's the sign say? Waste pit. Do not enter the pit. Danger of rat bites. Okay. I have four four rev arrows. How did I get four rev arrows? Let's use one. Oh, it's the laboratory. Damn it, that rope is not gonna be climbable. It's the light. I hit the wrong part of the thing. God damn it, got rid of the wrong one. Never mind. Oh. Oh, I can see why the things didn't hurt at all. Because you were dead afterwards, okay. Well, is there anything up the well, I was gonna say anything up the rafters? I've got a ladder to get down by. Hello? There's some moss growing up here as well. That's a lot more moss. I might have used some in the kitchen. Uh it's not a good ladder for getting down with. Not good, but possible. Poisoned cheese, okay. Glass tools. Banner. Some non poisoned cheese. Experiments began this morning. Here and after, I will keep a strict record of the developments in my research. First day, I installed my laboratory and fixed the test tubes. Second day, I cleaned around a little and got the experiments room ready. That secret door is quite useful. Third day. Ah, oh, this is getting more interesting every day. I found Doc's arsenic. It was the last ingredient I needed. I will finally have a chance to test my poison, eau de berenice. Fourth day. I smeared a piece of cheese with eau de berenice and then I had Vivian give it to the rat. I couldn't do it myself. I hate those filthy creatures. The mere sight of a rat gives me convulsions. Sometimes I dream I am locked inside a dark, cramped place with those horrible creatures. Ah-ha-ha! Uh, okay. De those horrible creatures devouring me. If that ever came to happen, I would certainly die. The experiment was a success. The rat died immediately. I have prepared some more poison pieces. I will rid the fortress of those dirty animals. I'll begin with the waste pit in my laboratory. There is a real plague in there. Seventh day. I have changed my mind. I will not make any more poisons. I am not a criminal. I will create body lotions. There will be healing lotions to take care of the poor men coming back from dangerous missions beaten up by nasty guards and full of bruises. Eighth day. I wrote an advertisement for human guinea pigs to test my products. Ninth day. I didn't expect such enthusiasm. Now I have two guinea pigs, Laguinia and Lulu. Ah, oh, things are getting serious. Now I can finally test my skin soothing cream. Tenth day. Lulu had a bad reaction, like he had smallpox. I should put less sulfur in the cream. Eleventh day. I'm going for bath oil now. Twelfth day. Our son asked me for a powerful poison today. My dear brother must want to get rid of someone annoying. It will be a change from running after those stupid red stones. But he will have to wait. I'm too busy right now. I'm testing anti-gangrene baths for the moment. I can always give him a piece of cheese made of anti-rat poison. Sixteenth day. I finally found the perfect formula for my anti-gangrene product. I will test it tomorrow on Laguinia, but I still have to convince him to take a bath. Seventeenth day. Oh damn! I killed Laguinia! As soon as he got into the bath, I knew something was wrong. He suddenly started... smoking. And now there is nothing left of him. Just a few whitened bones! My goodness, I'm very upset now. Eighteenth day. Lulu got sick. He suddenly started drooling everywhere. At first I did not understand what happened, but then I realized one of my poison cheeses had disappeared. Oh, it is horrible. Lulu ate one of my poison rochefort. I quickly hid the corpse in the experiments room. Oh my god, our son is going to be furious with me. I killed two of his men. He's always telling me that he got all the intelligence genes of our parents and only, only left me the stupidity genes, which must have been our father's. 
May the builder have mercy on him. I will probably dream that I wake up surrounded by horrible rats again. I always have that nightmare when I'm under stress. I promise not to touch any more chemicals in my life. Word of Berenice. Here ends the research diary of Berenice. I might go on to the marriage business. It is quite a promising market and it is not so risky. Hmm. I like that. It's one of these, uh, you know, doing all these experiments and it's like, oops. Killing them by mistake. Is that? She's said a secret passage, right? That's got to be the secret door. Okay, it's not 100% safe in here because people will walk by and look in the windows. But, uh... Ah. Could be a way to open that. Unless there's a lever behind the damn uh, banner, so that would be. That'll be inconvenient for me. on top of that? No. Seems very likely though. God damn it, there's three secret doors now that I've seen and not been able to find any any levers for. You know what, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna do a uh, test run here. No, okay. It's not behind the banners. I'm gonna reload that because it's a waste and it's noisy and it's uh, okay. Rules out the banners. Slightly cheating, but I don't care. Because Larsen has my sword. He's cheating more than I am. Where is the switch? In the rafters? On top of that? I guess I can go up the rafters again. Maybe. Okay. Ah, yes. Alright, cool. So where does this take me apart from... So that's Lulu. Whoops, door with problems. And this is Laguinia. He has the stone on him. Alright, beautiful. The taste. Oh, poor guy, huh? Still smoking even now. I better not get too close to that bath. No, I've got to test it. Guess it's all worn off. Oh well, hmm. Maybe it's just steaming now, nice and hot. I don't know, I guess this is a pretty comfortable place to end the episode then. So thanks very much for watching. I actually made this the screenshot. Uh, and uh, when I come next episode, when I come back next episode, I guess I will go start looking around upstairs. I'll see you then.